to another weekly vlog. Before we jump right in, just want to say a huge thanks to our sponsor, Majuri. I am a huge fan of Majuri and I wear their pieces all the time. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite pieces. If you should pick anything up, you should probably grab these pieces because they are a must have in your collection. And my link will be down below for you also where you'll get 10% off of your order. And I'll also list out all the items that I'm going to be mentioning in today's video. And yeah, let's jump right into that. So this is the Charlotte Bold Hoops. And the Charlotte Ring, definitely one of my favorite styles that Majuri offers. It is simply timeless and elegant. This is the Thin Dome Ring, and this has got to be one of my favorite pieces. So the Thin Dome Ring is definitely a must-have, and this is 14K gold. But I do love to stack it alongside the, the Pave Diamond Dome Ring. And because this ring is a little bit big for this finger, I like to put it at the base. And I top it off with the thin dome ring. So this next piece is the Pave Signe diamond ring. Now I love these two stacked together. They just look really, really nice. And around my neck, I forgot to share with you guys, my necklace is also from Majuri, and this is their Pave necklace, and I believe this is the oval shape. But I'll put all the names of everything on the screen for you, that way when you go down there to click on the links, you'll be able to identify each item that I showed you today. But they have a wide variety of items to choose from. They have the gold rame, which is what most of my pieces are made from, and they don't tarnish. I have a few 14K gold, which is just gorgeous, and a couple diamond pieces here and there. Those are definitely an investment piece, but if you want to invest in some quality jewelry, definitely check out Majuri. So many great styles to choose from to suit every single person. Again, my link will be in my description box below. So now I'm gonna curl my hair. I purchased this little thing on Amazon um, not too long ago. Um, only because I'm like into that like beachy wave look. Um, this is caused by me just putting my hair in a ponytail every night, like just wrapping it around in like a bun. And I hate this curl pattern, so I'm gonna curl it um, into like like looser waves. So let's get this hot. I straighten my part a little bit. I love a nice clean part. I've been using this product here. It's the olive oil hair dress. And it's what I use as the edge edge control. I just place this like on my edges directly. Yeah. And I kind of just put this all over. Then I'm going in with a soft textured brush. Like this bristle is very soft. And I've been using that to kind of like lay my edges. I used to use this very harsh brush that I threw out. That was just way too aggressive for my scalp. I've been a lot more gentle, especially with my hair these days, which has been very beneficial. Like my edges are growing and so thick. I don't know if you guys have noticed. And it's because I've stopped using edge control products. 
and I've just been using moisture products on my edges. Of course, if you have curly hair, I know you can't really do that because nothing will lay your edges down besides edge control. But for me, being relaxed and my hair being so fragile, I don't need anything harsh. Okay. So that's what I've been doing for my edges and they've just been so smooth and polished and they're growing in so thick. This is my first time also using this curl and iron. Hopefully it's good. Because it's been sitting in the box for a couple weeks. breakfast i'm gonna take my two juice shots this is a turmeric um juice shot i got i get these from trader joe's um this is turmeric yeah just turmeric coconut water turmeric lemon juices and added black pepper and then i have this one here it's called no joke ginger and it's literally just a very aggressive ginger shot can you guys see that okay i just got groceries the other day and I picked up a few of these. Delicious. This is the turmeric one. delicious i'm gonna be having i'm gonna be having the greek yogurt non-fat mango this one here this is so good you guys if you don't like yogurt that like greek yogurty taste try this because it mainly just tastes like the flavor it is which is the mango so i love it a lot and this is my favorite granola from trader joe's as you can see i'm pretty much all out of it but i do take the pecans out because I don't even know what pecans are. They're just like this big nut and no. So I make my yogurt and granola. I don't know why, but my face looks so ashy. So ashy. Ash. <laughs> but I'm gonna just sip on this coffee really quickly while I get set up for my first video of the day. I'm gonna be shooting the Zara haul first. I have all of the items on my clothing rack already. So it's just a matter of pulling it out. Let me take this stuff off. is the item these are the items for my Zara haul everything's already on the clothing rack so that's perfect I could dress this corner up a little bit more like I could put these flowers on a stand you know I could do that but I don't really know if it really matters but these tulips are blooming beautifully I'm so obsessed with them but um yeah that's pretty much it. Let me get changed and get this haul filmed and I'll come back. All right, guys, I am back. Ooh, let me move this mirror. It's reflecting. Okay. Oh. okay, so I'm done filming. 
and I am now getting ready to head into the city. I have a dinner date and then we're gonna go watch a movie and do some shopping, that sort of thing. I am switching out my jewelry though. I'm gonna go with these Pave like round studs also from Majuri. Um, I still have the Cartier ring on that I recently cleaned. Um, this diamond like band also need to clean from Majuri and then this finger just have the O because I wanted to like match the O here. guys it is monday morning it's around like 9 a.m right now i'm gonna get ready to shoot a qu really quick ad for all adam Rickson, and then i'm gonna head to the cafe get some editing done before heading over to pilates at 11 30. um that's the plan for today um my room is a little bit messy from last night i didn't really clean up that well i also decided that i want to document my pilates journey i'm gonna do pilates maybe two to three times a week depending on how hard it is i don't know yet but i'm gonna do it like two to three times a week for an entire month and see how my body transforms and i'm gonna document it so you guys can see because I definitely think it's a trendy thing, you know, because Lori Harvey said it like everyone and their mom is signing up for Pilates and some girls have been doing it for a while. I know that, but right now I feel like every single thing I look at on TikTok, Instagram, Pilates, Pilates, Pilates. So we're going to see because these classes are actually quite expensive. The studio I'm going to today is $39 per class i'm sure if you sign up for a membership it's kind of like more of a deal but because it's my first class i did not want to do that because i might not like it and then if i don't like it then they just have all that money so i signed up for one class first class is free but the free class that they were offering there was no there were no dates that were convenient for me so i ended up paying this is the product that i'm going to be shooting the tiktok ad for i'm hoping that it takes me less than 20 minutes to make it should be pretty straightforward because this is a product that i've been using for many many years maybe two years or so it's my favorite serum it's vitamin c makes your skin so glowy and beautiful so it's a very organic ad for me because i use the product as all already and i can speak to its benefits so i shouldn't take me a long time but i will link this below for you guys in case you want to find a serum to help your skin glow minimize dark spots and all of that this is a really good product to pick up
I don't know why I think I'm able to do an ad in 20 minutes. Yeah, right. Can't even tell you what, what time is it now, 9.28. Oh, we still have loads of time. We have almost like two hours before I have to like go to my Pilates class, but um, don't mind this mess behind me. I kept doing like the spray of the product on my hand here to kind of do that smear shot, but it kept looking crazy. I'm having to redo it, so I just have this paper towel here to wipe it up. And um, I kind of feel like they're not gonna want me to show the sunscreen, but I feel like when you showcase vitamin C serum products, you should always follow up by saying, make sure you wear sunscreen otherwise it's just not good so i hope they don't mind me throwing in that bit i obviously didn't show the super goop packaging but i mentioned sunscreen so i hope they don't say anything about that one second let me just get my mind together right now i'm dressed um i put on this white tank top instead of the black one i had on because i feel like it looked more you know like springy with the product but I'm gonna put my black one on because that's what I'm gonna be wearing to Pilates my Lululemon jacket for the day don't think it's gonna be that cold out so we're gonna do this Lululemon jacket um but we <laughs> guys I thought the zipper fell off of this jacket because I would really bring this back to Lululemon today because for what they charge that would have been very crazy if that's what was going on. I would have been very upset. So this is my favorite tote bag that's completely crushed. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to find some way to iron this, huh? Cause I can't carry it like this, right? Is this unacceptable? <laughs> I can, but I hate ironing. I literally, there's one thing I do not like to do, it's iron. The fact that I have to iron a tote bag is very upsetting to me. I do not like to iron. It's the one chore I hate to do. Iron and fold. Actually, the entire laundry process. I do not like doing laundry. I will cook, clean, scour the bathtub, the toilet, the floors. But laundry... Laundry is not for me i do not like it i'm gonna pack my stuff up now to go to the cafe i feel like i was saying that like 20 million times but i'm gonna bring this base pouch that i unboxed in my last vlog and i'm just going to put a few things in here that i know that i'm going to need so i'm gonna just put my wallet because when you carry a tote bag you have no organization because it's just one big open space so when you need like your essential items i like to just grab a pouch so i'm gonna have my wallet in here i'm gonna have my sanitizer and i'm going to do like a sanitizing wipe just in case i need i need to wipe down the pilates machine i'm gonna bring this Jo malone travel size like perfume um i'm gonna put this deodorant in here just in case i need to freshen up I'm going to bring my chapstick and then that's all that's going to go into this pouch for now. Um, I could also just put my AirPods as well. I don't really think. The base bag, the mini weekender, it comes with these little like sleeves for your electronics. So I'm going to just put my laptop in here. I'm going to put my little memory card holder in here. And um, shout out to Alexis Sparks when she was um, with me in Chicago. I saw her using this hard drive and I've been looking for a good hard drive for ages, but I just have no idea, no clue what to use. And I saw her using this and she loved it. And, and we just walked to the Apple store together to pick this up. Um, thanks, Alexis. And also, I mean, her content on YouTube is literally fire. I love her content. It's so motivational. And I only discovered her maybe like four months ago. She is definitely not, I'm shocked she doesn't have a million followers already. She's so deserving. That girl works hard, okay? I'm gonna bring my brush so I can like brush up my edges after this class. I'm sure they will be sweaty. Um, I don't tie my edges down when I work out because I feel like tying them down causes them to curl up even more. So I like to leave them exposed so the air can at least dry them. Um, so that's it. We're ready to go. Just gonna wear my sunglasses, my sneakers, and...
day today. Um, I just finished filming an ad for Majuri, so you might have seen this very same look at the beginning of the vlog. But um, it's Tuesday today. Um, I am getting myself sorted out to head into the city. I have an event to go to. Lavenue, which is Saks Fifth's restaurant, they open um, a rooftop like area, so they invited me to come have cocktails and tapas. And I'm going to be going to that with Destiny, who is in town, by the way which I'm very excited about. I haven't seen her since I saw her in California, really. Um, the outfit of the day, I'm keeping it very simple. You saw this very same outfit when I went to brunch with Renee the other day. Well, I'm getting ready to get rid of this fit, which is the leather Melina pants from Aritzia and the matching jacket. I'm gonna be wearing this today. Um, I curled my hair very loosely and all of that stuff. I, mean, I feel very pretty, I won't lie. I feel so pretty right now. Yeah, actually, I think you told me to get this camera. I think I asked no, you about it. No, but this is a, this, this lens is No, the, the lens is different. Ooh, but I like this. Yeah, no. it is. Okay, outside, it looks so much better. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, guys. So, we're in Soho. I'm with Destiny. Good morning guys, it is Thursday today. I am still vlogging on my M50 here because my other camera broke and that's gonna be delivered today, hopefully. Quality of this camera is so amazing. Whenever I use this camera, at first I'm like, ugh, I can't stand this camera, but then I get to using it and I'm just like, wow, the quality is actually insane. The only thing is though, this camera is just very heavy, so it's not practical for vlogging at all. But um, I might switch out the lens and bring this into the city today with me to get some vlogging done because I haven't vlogged for the past day because my camera broke, but I really don't want it to affect the vlog going up this week so I'm just gonna do what I can you know so I'm gonna put the smaller lens on which is a little bit lighter and I'm gonna use this to vlog so let's see if the quality changes significantly and I do love this lens though because I have the ability to zoom in and out say hello to my massive pimple um, the other lens though it's beautiful it doesn't have the ability to zoom and the only difference with this camera to my old one the viewfinder is here and not up top to the event it started at 4 and I'm just now getting here at 4.53 well I'm not there yet but that's when I'm set to arrive um, poor planning I'm just hoping that you know it's one of those events that you know if it runs from 4 to 6 but you can just come and go as you like which is what most of them are like you don't, it's not like us well, some events are more of a sit down, more intimate kind of thing where it's important to be on time, otherwise you're not interrupting. But some most events are kind of like a party where you can come and go, really. However, whatever time you want, you just have a certain window to do so. 
um, hopefully. We'll see. If I look in and it's like more of an intimate thing, I obviously won't interrupt and go in. Or I'll probably just wait outside until they're finished and just, you know, apologize to the PR person for being late and um, do some stories. guys it is Friday morning I am up bright and early bright high and bushy tail no makeup on sweater and jeans I'm heading to the mall girl I'm heading to the mall woke up in the mood to shop and that's just what I'm going to do Alright guys, I'm back home from the mall. I didn't vlog too much while I was there because the mall was packed, packed. And as you guys know, I'm using my M50, so not the G7X. So it's just big and bulky, it doesn't fit on any shelves. It's just big, just big. And I put it on the tripod and it kept tipping over. I'm saying a lot. <laughs> you guys will see what I bought when I get, get back home. But um, I brought my Palen bag today. This is the black one. And everyone was asking me about these sunglasses. This is the Desi sunglasses. And I believe the style for this one is Switch. Desi has some really good sunglasses. I mean, I've been to Sunglass Hut, Chanel stores. They have some really good sunglasses. And I'm gonna actually scroll the site once I'm finished up with you guys and see what I can get my hands on because I really wanna get more sunglasses. Because they just, all the styles that she has just really suits my face. Um, so I'm gonna just get a couple more shades. But firstly, let's do Sephora. Show you guys what I got from Sephora. I'm redoing my entire makeup routine because the products I've been using lately just have not been, I don't know, maybe because I'm just not vibing with them or they're not vibing with my skin. My skin is going through a lot right now. It's my time of the month and I'm bloated. My skin is just pimples everywhere. It's really wild, but firstly, we got the Makeup Forever HD powder and this is just a skin tone shade powder. This is what I told him. He gave me this to set my makeup, like set my foundation. So you guys will see these products in action soon. I did get the Fenty Gloss Balm in the clear gloss. So it's literally just the clear, the clear one. Got the new Dior foundation. I actually don't know if this is new, but this is the Forever Skin Glow. Told him that I wanted something to be very just glowy on the skin, so I got this one. And I'm hoping that this works out. The, sh the shade match wasn't like fantastic, like NARS would match me, but this was a very strong content. It was very close. So I said, you know what, it's fine. Um, I have the 78 brush here. I have the number 70 brush. And this is what it looks like on the back, the 70. This is for foundation. And um, I'm slowly and sh slowly but surely building my brush collection. This is the 24 brush. And she looks like this. This is just for, I believe this is for the crease. Yeah, the crease. This is for my shadow. Then this is the number 13. 
And then um, this is what it looks like. This is for to dab the color or the pigment on. And then the 71 brush is what I got for my concealer. He was using the this brush to kind of like put my concealer on. And I think I vlogged that part. It was so beautiful. So yeah. I also got the Hourglass. And the concealer we settled on was the Hourglass Concealer. Which I was happy to pick up because the color was pretty AF. And then also, I do use the Hourglass setting powder so I'm sure it's gonna work beautifully with each other so I got that um, I got this little travel size dry shampoo my hair is dirty right now and I am going out tonight so I wanted to use the dry shampoo because I'm not gonna wash my hair anytime soon because I do have a hair appointment on Monday she's going to tighten my micro links and you know give me like a refresh then I did get the rare beauty liquid blush I really like this, but yeah, I'm not gonna show you guys everything out of the packaging. I feel like I'm gonna do a new uh, makeup routine so you'll see everything. I also wanted to try out the Lash Clash because everyone keeps saying that this is literally like a falsies. It gives that falsies look, so I really wanted to try it. Then I just got some liquid liner from ABH. Whew, that's a lot. That's all I got from Sephora. Let's put it back in the bag because I don't wanna mix up the products. I really want to do a uh, everyday makeup look using everything that I got new. That way I can know if everything works. Otherwise, I'm off to go take it back. Next thing I got, I went to this store called Reese, but not like the store itself. This was in Nordstrom. Um, I really wanted the Bottega stretch heels, the one that looks like this, but I decided to go with this pair of shoe by Reese because... I don't know, the Bottega price point was like 800 something and to be quite honest, I think I just wanted it because they were Bottegas. You've seen it a lot and the girls look so nice like wearing that shoe and I'm like, okay, I want it. But I decided to just get the Reese one because to be quite honest, like this is more my speed. That toe thing isn't there. It's very comfortable. It's a very simple, shoppy white shoe and this is fine by me. I can literally just wear these and call it a day. And if I keep thinking about the Bottega ones, I might just buy it, you know, it's not really a big deal. The next thing I got was from Louis Vuitton, but, um, I got a bracelet. So you guys know I'm into like designer jewelry now. Um, I started with the Cartier ring, which is like one thing I got. I got that Hermes Click H bracelet. And then I went out to dinner last night with Brainy Lee. And she was wearing this Louis Vuitton um, bracelet and I really loved it. It's very, very cute. Um, it's a perfect size. I love the gold. It's so pretty. And this is definitely a statement jewelry for me. I usually wear a lot of like dainty stuff. But in the summer, I do like to wear like more like chunkier pieces because in the summer, you wear less clothes. So it's time for you to like play on jewelry. So, you know, my summer vibe is like black and white, so. And then the next things I got are these little tiny um, earrings. Can you, can you guys see this? It's the popular earrings that everyone has, for sure. But I did get the smaller size, like the smaller hoops. I don't really wear hoops, so these are like very different, but I really like them. They were so cute, and I can just envision like a very like sleek ponytail. And this, I think it's going to be a vibe. I got something from Chanel. I went into Chanel to see if they had any bags in stock. I really want like a Chanel handbag, but I mean, to be quite honest, I probably would never spend it, that money on the bag. But I always say if I walk in there and the bag I want is there, then it's a sign, <laughs> but it wasn't. But um, I found a little Chanel wallet that I've wanted for so long. As you guys know, I have this one here, which I just bought, and I'm actually going to do a giveaway for it, because I'm gonna get rid of it. This and the key clay. So I just got this in YSL, but I miss having like a clo I don't like this. I don't like that people can just see in here. I, I never thought it would bother me, but it really does bother me. So I just got a Chanel closed wallet. As you guys know, I had the key clay before. I didn't want my wallet to be open anymore, so I went and got this one here, and it's just the Chanel coin purse here, and it has a card thing on the back, which I really like. I love that this one is closed, so all my stuff is just not exposed like that. I never realized how much that would annoy me until I had this card holder. So 
I got this. And I also miss being able to put my keys on my wallet. Because my keys are like very expensive. Like when you lose them at my building, you have to pay like $250 to have it replaced. So sometimes I have many heart attacks. So yeah, I just got this one and I really like it. I like this one so much more because it's closed. I can put my stuff in here in privacy, you know, just have privacy. Because people just in their business sometimes, you know? Like I just like to have a very enclosed you know, wallet. Some cash over here if I want, and I can just separate things, you know? Because, you know, like for example, this is my Metro card. My Metro cards can go in one category. I can put business cards in another category. You know, I like to organize my life, and with this thing, it's hard to kind of like, you know, get things in and out, but this might be convenient for someone who literally has three cards some cash very simple but um yeah i will touch base with you guys later or this might be the last time you see me um i'm gonna say goodbye just in case i have noticed that i've been dropping i've been ending my vlogs so abruptly lately and not saying goodbye so i think i might close out here um wait as a, as a matter of fact hold on i'm trying to see my vlogging camera is here already so my camera did come in the mail, thank goodness. So happy to have my baby back. It's been a long week without her. It was not the same. So happy she's back. And this is the camera I use, PowerShot G7X by Canon. The GOAT, okay? This is the best vlogging camera ever. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I am in my bedroom right now. It's about like three. Wait, one second. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 6.13 p.m. <laughs> okay, so I'm having one of those days where I have no sense of time or anything. I actually thought it was 3 p.m. if I'm being honest. Um, I just got finished editing my weekly vlog, so it's ready to go. But as I'm editing, I literally stopped in the middle of the, the whole thing. I did say bye, but that's what I'm saying. I always end the vlog very abrupt. We're not going to say goodbye just yet. The vlog is already late, and it's probably going to be up a little bit later. Um, so, it's alright. Um, I just came in here really quickly because I decided that I'm going to straighten up my room. I'm going to try to clean my room in like 30 minutes or so. Um, that's probably not going to happen, but I'm going to really try to focus on cleaning so I get it done. And then we're going to make dinner. I'm going to make it a habit. I'm going to make it a thing where I try to cook in at least every weekly vlog because I know you guys really love the cooking. You love to see the meals I make. So we're going to make dinner before we actually end the vlog. I'm in the mood for linguine with clams. You know that's my summer favorite pasta dish. And I'm craving it. And I think it's because of the weather. It's 80 degrees outside today. I did go outside for a really quick workout. And then... I ran by the grocery store to pick up some clams from the fish market. I got some wine. I got all the ingredients I'm going to need. And it should be a great night. So I'm going to just spend that night with you guys. Um, but first we're going to clean my room. My room is so dirty. I'm going to show you guys the mess. And I'm even ashamed to show you the mess. Because my room never gets like this. Never. But I'm having a week. I'm having a week. So I'm giving myself a pass. Alright, before we get to cleaning, I'm going to do a face mask. This is the Kiehl's Rare Earth cleansing mask my skin has been acting up lately i have breakouts all over my face i stopped using my curology treatment because i felt like you know my skin was perfect i don't need this anymore then that time of the month came and all that hormonal acne just hit me at once if i was using my curology i would have been protected Be 